on. And now, any song I buy on any device, again, will automatically be downloaded to all my devices. So when I want to buy a song, in this case an Adele song, it will push it to all of my devices. So to give us a demo of that, again, I'd like to invite Eddie up. Thank you. Thanks, Steve. So I'm on my iPhone, and I want to listen to a song I'd previously purchased on iTunes, but it's not in the music library on this device. Well, now I can easily just go to the iTunes Music Store. There's a new Purchase tab right on the bottom. And now I'm seeing all of the purchases I've ever done on iTunes. I can even look at them, the, the songs that, I had, that are not on this device that I previously purchased by just tapping that button. Now I'm going to look for a Foo Fighters song. I think it's called Walk. And there it is. And what, just tapping the iCloud button, it downloads to my iPhone. Again, because I'd previously purchased this song, it's downloading at no additional cost. Let's go ahead and play it. Just finishing downloading. Now that's great, but iTunes in the cloud is even better. Let's see what happens when I purchase a new song. And if we can bring up my iPad, I'm going to go ahead and launch our new music player in iOS 5. And on my iPhone, I'm going to go back to the iTunes store. I want to buy a new song. And I want to look at uh, Bruno Mars' new album. I know he has a hit song. I think it's called uh, Lazy, Lazy Song. That's it. We can preview it. That's definitely it. Now I'm going to buy it, but before I do, notice on my iPad I don't have any Bruno Mars songs at all. So we're going to go ahead and buy. And it's now downloading to my iPhone, and in addition, there's the Bruno Mars song. And of course, let's play it. So now when I buy a song on one of my devices, it automatically downloads to all of my devices without having to sync or do any work at all. And that's iTunes in the cloud. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you very much. Isn't this awesome? So music purchased from iTunes, high quality, 256 kilobits AAC. And you can have up to 10 devices downloading your music to all of them every time you buy it on any device. iTunes in the cloud. So these nine apps constitute iCloud. And they are all free. We want, we want every user to take advantage of these. And we know if we make them free that they'll, they will. And uh, we want people to see what these devices can really do and what the software can really do. So we're making it free. And we're very excited about it. So that's iCloud. It stores your content and wirelessly pushes it to all your devices. And it's integrated with your apps. So everything happens automatically. So a competitor that doesn't own the apps or doesn't have great developers to integrate with their apps, they can never do this. They can never make it so it just works. And that's what we've done here. So how do you get it? Well, when you upgrade your phone or buy a new phone with iOS 5 on it, all you have to do is type in your Apple ID and password, and that's it. And you'll get a switch that's iCloud, you can turn it off if you like. It'll be turned on by default. 
and you're up and running. We're also going to give everybody five gigabytes of free storage for mail, documents, and backup. And that's even more than it sounds like, because we're not counting purchase music, apps, or books. Towards that five gigabytes, <laughs> nor, nor are we counting photo stream towards that five gigabytes. So when can you get your hands on this? Today. Develop the data today. We're going to get you all a developer beta today. And also today, we're going to make something available to end users, which is the iTunes in the cloud portion. And it runs on iOS 4.3. It'll run on all the supported platforms when we ship it this fall. But today, we're going to put it out for 4.3 as a beta. And everyone can get their hands on it and run it on their existing uh, existing iPhone 4s. So we think this is going to be really exciting. And of course, we ship iCloud concurrent with shipping iOS 5 this fall. So that is iCloud. <laughs> now there's one more thing. A small thing. It pertains to iTunes in the cloud. As you recall, iTunes in the cloud is just for the music that you've purchased from the iTunes store. Now at 14 billion songs, 15 billion, excuse me, that's a lot of songs out there that have been purchased from iTunes Music Store. But you may have some that you ripped yourself. And there's three ways you can deal with that. One, you can sync your new devices over Wi-Fi or cable, or cable. And you only have to sync them once just to get that music on them. And then you can rely on iCloud to take care of getting all your new purchases off iTunes onto that device. Or if it's just a few songs you love that you don't want to leave behind, you can buy those songs that you'll miss on iTunes. And we're going to offer a third way which is called iTunes Match. What is iTunes Match? Well, iTunes Match uses the fact that we've got 18 million songs now in the iTunes Music Store. And the chances are awfully good that we've got the songs in our store that you've ripped. And so we wrote software to scan those CDs, the, the, ripped CD, the, the, the non iTunes music, and match it up with those songs we have in the store. right? And so we can give that music the same benefits as music purchased from iTunes. And it takes just minutes, not weeks. If you have to upload your whole library into some locker in the sky, that literally takes weeks. <laughs> this takes minutes, because we're scanning and matching your library, so we don't need to upload that that large part of your library. And the few songs that remain, well, we'll upload them. But with 18 million songs, we're most likely to have what you've got. In addition, iTunes Match will upgrade those songs that match the 256 kilobits AAC. And iTunes Match costs just $24.99 a year. So if you've got a bunch of music, if you've got a bunch of music that you didn't buy from iTunes, you can get all the benefits of the cloud service and more in terms of upgrading your music for $24.99 a year. Now, if you look and compare that to some competitors, let's just look at Apple and Amazon and Google, you're, you kind of get surprised. Because again, the library in the cloud, we scan and match. The other guys, you've got to upload your whole music library. Again, it's going to take weeks. Music apps on your Mac and PC, well, you're stuck with a web app instead of iTunes. Upgrade to 256 kilobits per second, 
The other guys aren't upgrading you at all. The annual price for 5,000 songs were $24.99. Amazon charges you $50 for the storage, and Google hasn't announced their pricing yet. Even at 20,000 songs, we charge one flat price. Amazon's up to $200 for the storage, and Google hasn't announced their pricing yet. So, Most of our customers won't need this because they bought a lot of their music on iTunes. But for those that do, it's uh, an industry-leading offering. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so that's iTunes Match. And it goes along with free iTunes in the cloud. And that's what it is. Now, If you don't think we're serious about this, you're wrong. <laughs> um, this is our third data center that we just completed. It's in Maiden, North Carolina. This is what it looks like. It's rather large. Um, it's as eco-friendly as you can make a data center with modern technology. And we're pretty proud of it. Um, just to give you a feel for its size, see those two little dots on the roof? Those are two people right there. <laughs> so it's a pretty large place, and, and it's uh, full of stuff, <laughs> full of expensive stuff. <laughs> and uh, we are ready, we think, for, uh, for our customers to start using iCloud. And we can't wait to get it in their hands. So iCloud is the third thing we want to talk about today. I hope you like all of the, the three things that we've unveiled this morning. And again, we've got a great week planned for you uh, with uh, 5,200 attendees, over 120 sessions, over 100 hands-on labs, and over 1,000 Apple engineers here all week. So please ask us for any help you need. That's why we're here. So go at it. Have a great week. And thank you very much for coming this morning. <laughs>